What's up, Jaguars and fans of Catfish, the TV show? What you're seeing right here is another epic installment of Catfish, the review, brought to you by Ralph J. Images, the same brand, logo, and company, if you will, that that has also brought to you you know, Ralph's Universe, the reboot. That's right. Catfish, the review, is presented to you by Ralph J. Images. And you all know who I am. Ralph Jaguar is narrating all of this. And this is the third installment of Catfish, the review. And what I'm going to do right here is review the second episode of Catfish, the TV show, for the second season. Okay? And much like the first one, the second episode of Catfish, the TV show, is another mind-blowing one. Can you say OMG? It's not that hard to say, you know that, right? It's, please bear with me because uh, it has been kind of hard for me lately. But, but believe you me, no matter what happens, I will still be bringing you all of the good stuff. And that includes, you know, Catfish, the TV show. But don't worry, I'm not going to ramble on. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we got our usual and popular online PI team, Neve and Max. And this episode right here is titled Anthony and Mark. That's right, the story of Anthony and Mark. As the show starts out, you know, Neve has received an email from Anthony. Um, Anthony is, a, is a, a member of the United States Army, or is it the military? Does it really make a difference? Jeez. Yeah, he also served in Iraq, you know, where he uh, went through a whole lot of BS, you know. He got shot a lot. You know, Anthony got shot a lot. You know, he got injured a few times. Um, but, uh, but he was able to heal, you know, physically from the wounds, and that's good, you know. And I, and I, and I'm and I'm guessing here that he was able to get his uh, leave from the United States Army. I don't know; it could be because of his injury. Yeah. By the way, here's Anthony. Yeah, he served in the army. Uh, yeah, he was in Iraq. By the way. And Anthony has met a guy online. Okay, he yeah he met a guy online and you know got into a relationship, you know with this guy you know, and he's been into this relationship with a guy with this guy for about over about a year or over a year, you know. Now unlike the other episodes of Catfish that you know that that we've seen here. You know, Anthony is already suspe suspecting Mark of, you know, lying, okay? Now, when I say the name Mark, you know, it is spelled M-A-R-Q instead of M-A-R-K. Yeah, like I said, you know, Anthony is already suspecting, you know, Mark of lying, you know, here because Mark has told a whole bunch of you know crazy stories and you have to understand you know you know Anthony is a real smart guy you know of course he is being in the being in the army and you know and after he has been through all that he's been through of course he's gonna be able to figure things out duh and one of the
Yeah, and even though that Anthony suspects that, you know, Mark is lying about a whole lot of stuff, you know, he, you know, Anthony does admit that he really does like, you know, Mark, and, you know, and he wants to be with Mark. But he still cannot shake the fact that, you know, that uh, Mark is, you know, being totally dishonest with him. And so that is why Anthony is calling, calling in the experts here, our online PI team, <clears throat> Neve and Max. And as, and as you can see right here, you know, Anthony is telling, you know, Neve and Max the whole situation about what's going on with this relationship. And by the way, here is Mark, okay? No. Now let's make this clear. Anthony has not met Mark in person. Not yet. No, he tried to one time. He went up to a place where he was supposed to meet, you know, Mark. But when Anthony got there, you know, Anthony waited for like over two hours and Mark was a no show. And then that's when Mark, and that's, that's when Anthony received a text from Mark, you know, you know, saying that he couldn't make it because I guess one of the stories was that he had gotten carjacked. Yeah, Mark had gotten carjacked and the person who carjacked him, you know, stole his car and ran over him. And here's the picture that, um, that Mark sent to Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, this right here is what Mark sent to Anthony, and this is supposed to be Mark's uh, broken hand. And uh, OMG, sorry about the typo here. Yeah, Mark's name is spelled, you know, M A R Q. <sighs> Look, Jaguars, I've been I've been working a whole lot on this, okay, and I stayed overnight to, you know, put this together just for you. So, come on, bear with me here, okay? Come on, guys. But anyways, yeah, look at the hand, okay? You see, this is Mark's picture, right, online. Obviously, an African-American. Now, look at his hand. Yeah, obviously a white hand. We all can tell that. Now here's another picture of Mark. You know, you know this is the pic that Mark submitted online, and that is the pic that, you know, that he has sent to Anthony. Okay, so Neve and Max, uh, they plan to go ahead and investigate this. But at this point right here, you know, Anthony is really breaking down. Why is he breaking down? Well, because of all of the lies. The constant mountain lies that Mark is telling him. And it's really getting to Anthony. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just, yeah, 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 it's really getting to Anthony. It's really getting to the man, you know, all these lies. Okay, I gotta, uh, you know, go ahead and tell you what I really think about this. You know, at this point, I mean, now you can see right here that Anthony is really starting to break down. And all, the, and all of this constant lying, I mean, it's not just one lie. It's not just a whole bunch of lies. I mean, we're talking about a mountain of lies here, Jaguars. I mean, it's just a lie after lie after lie. You know, these constant outrageous stories. And then, and then about the uh, broken hand, you know. I mean, I mean, Mark is supposed to be African American, but that's a white hand that's in a cast there. I mean, I don't, I don't even know where he got that picture from. I mean, 
I mean, it, you see, so it's, I don't know where he got that pick from of the broken hand. Maybe he got it online somewhere. So what it is, is it's a lie to cover up another lie. And at this point, all I can think is, okay, I mean, what is the point of, of Neve and Max coming in here to do an investigation to see if, you know, if this guy, Mark, is, is who he says he is and try to get to the bottom of things. Okay, that's pretty obvious, you know. That's why, you know, that's why Anthony called in, you know, Neve and Max. But then, you all, you know, you all watch the show. What Neve and Max also tried to do is arrange a meeting of the two, okay? But at this, but in this episode, you know, I don't, I don't know if I really see the point of that. I mean, if it's going to be all this lying and all these lies, you know, maybe Anthony, you know, should, I don't see no point of the meeting, you know. I mean, does he really want to be with someone that's going to constantly tell all these, all these BS stories and all these lies? I mean, what the F? You, you want to be with someone like that? I mean, Anthony is already having doubts about the story. He's already having doubts about this guy. I mean, it gets to a point where you just got to use your common sense here, Jaguars, and fans of, you know, Catfish, the TV show. You got to use your common sense here. I mean, what is the point of a meet? I mean, if, I mean, Anthony already suspects that he's lying, and it's outrageous BS story after story. I mean, it's just a mountain range of lies. I mean... And, 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 and we go ahead and arrange a meeting of the two, but but after that, even if he is who he says he is, I mean, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> which is obviously not the case. But if this is, but if he does match the guy in the pictures, but after after you meet, I mean, it's just going to be more lies, more lies and deception. So I'm just wondering, Jaguars. What is the point? I mean, he should just, I mean, in my opinion, in my personal opin opinion, I think that Anthony should just go ahead on and just end the relationship right there. And just say, hey, look, Mark, I mean, I mean, I, that's what I think, you know, Anthony should say. I say, you know, he should just say, hey, look, Mark, I mean, since you're going to be sitting up here and telling all these lies and it's going to be lie after lie after lie, I don't think it's going to work. You know, I mean, and, and look what he's doing to him. You're breaking the man down. He is really breaking the man down. All these lies. Anyways, Neve and Max are going to go ahead and do their, their investigation and get down to the nitty gritty with quote unquote Mark here. They're doing the investigation and check out what they find. This is Mark's Facebook profile. Uh, he, he doesn't have, you know, that many um, likes on there. And, he, and he's got a few pics, of course. And, and here we got Neve, you know, doing his thing. That's right, we got Neve over here doing his thing, you know, researching Mark Wells. And of course, you know, after the ever popular infamous image search that that Neve and Max do so well, the pictures that Mark, you know, submitted to Anthony, they originate from here. You know, uh, an official fan page, you know, uh, an official fan page, you know, Facebook profile of Joshua. Big surprise, huh?
and right here you know Neve is on the phone with Joshua the real Joshua and check this out Joshua obviously a fan of the catfish TV show <laughs> yep that's how popular this show is Yep, all I can say is OMG. Yeah, because I think it's pretty obvious at this point that, you know, almost the whole effing planet watches, you know, this show, you know, Catfish, the TV show. Um, no big surprise there because I, because most of the, most of the population on this planet can relate to, you know, this show. Either that or, you know, it's being talked about all over the world, just like Neve said. And by the way, here is Joshua and this is and this is the guy's you know pick right here. Now what they want to do is talk on what Neve and Max are doing here is they're video chatting with Joshua. Yeah, he's the guy in the pics. Yeah, someone is pretending to be him. And Jaguars, I know what you all are thinking. I know what you're wondering. I have absolutely no idea what that thing is on Joshua's head. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh my God. I mean, I don't know what that is. I mean, is that a new kind of hat or? Hmm. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Is that is that styling or? I mean, you'll have to excuse me. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm a bit old school, you know. Most of my fans know that, but I've never seen a hat like that before. But. But anyways, yeah, um, you know, Joshua, he uh, got on video chat with Neven Max and he confirmed that, that that this is his pictures, but he is not Mark, okay? And he does not, and he has no idea who uh, Anthony is. So, right here, this whole thing is an obvious hoax. Yeah. Another hoax, Jaguar. Jar. Uh. And, uh. And Neve asks uh, Joshua to say a few words to Anthony, and, you know. And Joshua was real nice, and he said, uh. You know, something like, well, I don't know his exact words, but he said something like, uh. uh Real, he said, yeah, you know, Anthony, real sorry about all this, you know, somebody pretending to be me to you, and, and, you know, I hope you find somebody, yeah, yada, yada, blah, blah, you know, um, you know, some nice speech, uh, okay, come on, let's get real here, okay, because if it was me, and, you know, someone pretending to be me to this, and, and trying to get close to this Anthony guy, you know, and if they asked me to come up here, <clears throat> I mean, if someone were taking my pictures and pretending to be me and trying to get close to someone else, and if they asked me to say a few words to this Anthony guy, you know, I would have to be real and I would have to say, oh my God, Anthony, you have got to be the biggest, dumbest mother ever to fall for a trick like that. If, oh my God, <laughs> you mean to tell me you cannot put two and two together and tell that you are being played by a sucker then you must be a sucker yourself come on now what you need to do Anthony is get off the internet stop stop wasting your time on a computer so much go to a nightclub and find somebody or for real okay and, sp and, and quit spending all your time on a on a mother effing computer get some sense into your head okay 
Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Hold on, Jaguars. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I, I really wouldn't say that to him, but I mean, I really wouldn't use those exact words to uh, Anthony, but maybe something like that, you know. I mean, yeah, even though that would be, you know, realer and and that does make sense, but that that would just be too harsh and and I guess at this point, you know, Anthony is at a real fragile state. I mean, even though it is true, you know, I mean, he's got to get off the computer and find somebody for real, you know, maybe in a nightclub. But I wouldn't say it to him like that, though. So, yeah. So I guess we better scratch that. Anyways, uh, Neve and Max, um, they go ahead on and investigate a little more, okay? And and what they've done is they used the phone number that Mark gave to Anthony. That's right. Because of the phone number that Mark, yeah, I've noticed I put quotes on Mark. Because of the phone number that Mark gave to Anthony, excuse me, Neve and Max traced it to this. Check it out. The guy's real name is Frammel. This is what Neve and Max found. And here he is. Yeah, here is Frammel, a.k.a. Mark. Yeah, please excuse the quality of this uh, pic right here. Um, yeah, I know it's a little dark and contrasty, but it's the best I can do. It's the best that, you know, Neve and Max, Neve and Max can do, too. Yeah. Jig is up, guy. I mean, this is what they found. They also found a... Neve and Max also found a YouTube video of Framo on YouTube. <sighs> yeah, at this point, you know, I think it's pretty obvious that, you know, that Framo has some insecurities about himself. I mean, a lot of people do, you know, who do stuff like this, you know. Yeah. And here is Framo's info. You know, and even Max, they found that. And now the hard part. That's right, you guessed it. Neve and Max are telling Anthony, you know, what they found. You know, they played Anthony the video of Joshua, the real guy in the pics that he's been seeing. You know, the one that quote unquote Mark, you know, submitted to him. And they also told him about Framo. They also showed him Framo's. YouTube video. Pretty obvious, don't you think? What's happening here? And of course, you know, Anthony is devastated by all of this. Yeah, all this BS. I'm pretty I mean are you surprised of course the man is upset what, what what do you think what do you think Jaguars jeez okay so as you can guess uh, you know Neve Max and Anthony they traveled all the way to Jackson Mississippi to in order to meet Framo aka Mark Yeah, here he is in person. Compl
completely different than the pics he submitted online. Yeah, a totally different person. Now, now what you're seeing right here is the confrontation. Uh, you know, Anthony right here is is talking to Framo. Yeah, he's over here talking to Framo, and you know, and you know, of course, Anthony is really pissed off. I mean, the man is really pissed. Enough said, don't you think? And then the next day, you know, waiting for it all to settle in, you know, there's Fram Framo with his two friends here, Stephanie and Lajarius. Uh, and by the way, if you notice behind them, you know, in the background, you'll notice some, uh, you'll notice the computer right over there, and also the, obviously the printer over there. So, you know, this is the place where they did all of the you know, deception. <laughs> I put that appropriately, don't you think? And right here, they're talking to, you know, Neve, Max, and Anthony, of course. Yep, Anthony is still pissed off, you know. And at this point, you know, things did get heated, okay? Yeah, it got real heated here, you know. There was some shouting and some cussing, you know, back and forth between Anthony and Mark. And that's because, you know, it's a real emotional situation. And, and you know, Anthony is real upset because over a year, you know, Mark pulled this ruse and he really was playing, you know, Anthony here, you know. And Anthony has every right to be upset. I mean, he, I mean, the man has every right to be upset. He has every right to be pissed off. <sighs> because I will tell you that, though, you know, Mark did explain, you know, the situation of why he did it. You know, I mean, if you watch the show, you know, you'll see you know why Mark, you know, well not Mark, but Framo, yeah. Yeah, Framo explained, you know, why he did what he did, you know. For over a year, he was lying and deceiving and playing, um, you know, Anthony. Obviously, because, you know, he had insecurities about himself. And, uh, you know, he was really mistreated by his family members. And, and that is why Framo created Mark, you know, quote unquote Mark, you know, he, you know, it's, yeah, it's the typical story, you know, the basic typical story, you know, because of the way he was treated and the way that, you know, because of his insecurities of himself, that is why he created a character. Ah, uh, damn. I mean, I create characters too, but that's only to be used in fictional stories. And I don't do them to deceive people. But this right here is really foul, don't you think? And therefore, you know, Anthony had every right to be upset. You know, for over a year this had been going on. I mean, the constant lying, you know, these BS stories, you know, it was just BS story after BS story. I mean, Anthony knew it. Anthony, you know, suspected it from the start. You know, I mean, he's a smart guy. He can put two and two together. And I got to say, you know, Mark seems to, no, not Mark. I keep saying Mark. No, Framo seems to have, have an also, you know, Framo he may be, you know, insecure about himself a lot, but... But he also obviously has a lot of time on his hand 
on his hands to sit there and concoct and orchestrate this whole BS. I mean, this is bull S-H-I-T, don't you think? Jeez. But yeah, you know, things did get heated here, you know. There was a shouting match between Antony and Framble, which didn't surprise me at all, but then, you know, things settled down, okay? Because Mark did Framo, uh, Mark, well, well, they're both the same person, so what the F? They're both the same person. Framo, a.k.a. quote-unquote Mark, you know, Framo did apologize to Antony, and, uh, and, and Antony did, you know, accept, you know, Framo's apology. Yeah, Antony, you know, actually forgives, you know, Framo. Yeah, I think what needed to happen here was that Anthony just needed to get it all out. You know, he just needed to, you know, spew his rage and vent, okay, how he felt. And, and that's probably what helped. Now, obviously, you know, Anthony and Mark are not going to be together, but, um, and I don't know if they're really going to be friends. Probably not. Okay, but the fact that Anthony actually forgives Framo, and uh, you know, it's good. You know, we get a happy ending. So once again, our online PI team, Neev and Max, score another one. Oh yeah, another great job, guys. Another great job. So we actually get a happy ending. And we're able to settle it, get it out into the open, and, you know, go ahead and close the chapter on this situation. And even Max, another great job. You know, I've been saying it all along, Jaguars, you know. You know, I don't want to sound repetitious on here. But if you suspect from the start that, you know, that the stories of the person on the other side of the screen is not adding up. I mean, if you suspect that the person is lying, then they obviously are. Okay. And, you know, you also have to understand the old saying, if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. And Anthony, you know, he suspected it from the start, you know, that, 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 uh, you know, Anthony, yeah, Anthony suspected from the start that, that, you know, Mark was not who he really says he was. And, you know, he suspected a whole bunch of lies. So, so I'm really kind of doubting that, you know, he really needed, you know, Neve and Max's help. I mean, I mean, you know, it was, they were, they were helpful. Don't get me wrong, okay? Neve and Max were very helpful. But after the barrage of lies, the mountain range of lies, and seeing, and seeing our boy break down like that, you know, he should have just ended the relationship, you know, right then and there online, you know, right on the spot. You know, just say, hey, look, I don't see the point of this. This is ridiculous. This is bull S-H-I-T. I don't think there's a need for a meet. You know, it's not going to work out. I think that's what, you know, Anthony should have said to Mark, you know, a.k.a. Framo. And, and there's also another issue here that seems to be going on. Um, 
The reason why people do this catfishing thing, you know, they go online and pretend to be someone else. You know, one instance seems to be about, you know, insecurities that the person is having about themselves. You know, just like in this episode of Catfish, the TV show, because, you know, Framo said, uh, you know, you know, he, he had insecurities about himself and also because of the way that, you know, other people were treating him. And, you know, you saw the picture that that you, that he put online, you know, the pictures of of Joshua. And then you see, you know, how Framo really looks. Yeah, it's completely different. But what people need to understand, what you all need to understand is, you know, you have to be what you are, okay? I mean, you have to be what you are, okay? And accept what you are. And, you know, you work with that, you know? sitting up here and pretending to be someone else you know not only are you lying to others but in a way you know you're also lying to yourself and you're fooling yourself and and it's not helping the situation at all and I just don't see how that how doing this is going to make you know Framo feel better yeah Okay, by the way, uh, please excuse the, you know, cutting noise in the background. Yeah, I got guys doing some work here. But anyways, back to the subject matter at hand. You know, basically what I'm saying is, is that, you know, you, you have to be what you are. Accept what you are, you know, show the world what you are and be what you are, okay? Pretending to be someone else, whether it's on a TV show, online, or wherever, or simply just to lie to someone else it's only going to end up disastrous just be yourself okay no matter what the situation is no matter what you know no matter how many flaws you have just be yourself well I have to say you know this episode of Catfish, the TV show, is uh, a very interesting one, and uh, yeah, it's a very good episode. Uh, you know, you know, I don't think it's really shocking or really surprising because, for the simple fact that Anthony suspected from the start that that things were not adding up. But, but, you know, once again, our online PI team, you know, Neve and Max came in, did their thing, and, you know, and unraveled the mystery and brought everything to the light. Because I said it before and I'll say it again, you know, the truth will always reveal itself. And no matter how hard you try to hide things, you know, it will eventually come to the light so remember that so that's it for this installment of catfish the review I will be back to review the next episode of catfish the, the TV show so for now peace out till later